Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Where Ships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverages. A very sweet tropical juice drink, very nice indeed. So in the previous episode of Airships, we started a new campaign with the Generi and we sort of boxed in a little bit on, well, these two sides here, but then we had a sort of open ocean. So actually, this is not bad because of the just distance between uh, ourselves and the other two islands here and we managed to defend off quite nicely and then we made some inroads on the left hand side and then we managed to work our way down and captured two of the big cities so we've got three medium shipyards so pretty good in this episode hopefully more of the same I want to sweep down and take these bits here and then go up to the left and then basically work our way up this way because well this is essentially I would assume already been at least somewhat damaged because there's been combat so I'm hoping they haven't had time to recover either way we will unpause it and we are taking two bits down the bottom there uh, authorities in pith catch a foreign agent attempting to set fire to one of our turrets interesting uh, let me just have this fight here so we will start the fight this is shots fired from the right to the left are less accurate brilliant uh, we are still however going to fly up and over this is our SP bumblebees which are the only vessels that we currently have because well we haven't made anything else I didn't really see any great need to. However, I really do want to make some... I think we want to make probably some boarding vessels. And there's a cookie that is floating past. Very strange. Yeah, so we'll have to see about that one. About building. But obviously it all is based on technology as well. So, yeah, we'll just have to keep a bit of an eye out. So as you can see, heading towards the target here, and this is one of the structures that we have seen in previous fights, previous combats, and we were very lucky with the positioning. It was either in the dark, or it was shots from one side to the other, but we are working across the other side because they have one, two, three, four, five rifles forward and three at the rear. Now obviously that's been altered slightly by our uh, <laughs> by our intervention shall we say and utilizing all of our our ballistas. We have taken some damage as well so we'll have to repair that but this should be the last big fight before we head back up to repair. And I think we'll just put it to max speed and let them crack on. You can see we're chipping away the armour there, and then there was a big explosion as the ammo store went up. And that's a victory. Gentle takeover. This I'm going to bring back to... Um, to the centre, I think. And also, defences. Build building. I'm going to build an orc. Right at the back. And then we'll let them crack on with that. Over here... I haven't taken it over yet, so that's going to take a while. Um, I'm tempted by attacking the mad scientist, but doing that... Well, it may get us killed. There's two mad scientists here. Don't think it's the... Don't think it's the way forward. We are currently researching the scientific suspendium mining, large suspendium chambers, nine months. I thought it was already researched, but no. Um, and that is going to... Well, it's going to allow us to, uh, no target available, oh, range here. Yeah. It's going to allow us to get some boarding vessels. So, same deal as before. Shots fired from right to left are less accurate. That's all well and good, but I'd rather have less rifles shooting at me. And you can see the effectiveness of tier zero vessels, which is what we have. <laughs> this is just, oh, we've lost uh, one of our... Ball uh, ballistas. So we've got seven ballistas. That's all we've got. It's all we're armed with. Wooden armour, etc. Gentle takeover. And I'm going to go back up to there. By the time we get back, we should be able to sort this out. Looks like they are coming to attack me. Bringing these down then. They're coming from across the island there. And Mad Scientist is attacking me as well. No, Mad Scientist is not attacking me. No, Mad Scientist is attacking me. Just not the one I thought. Fair enough. This guy's still on his way. I've rearmed the Bumblebee. But... 
He hasn't, uh, he hasn't turned around. There's one defense there. I'm not going to bother building anymore. So he has, looks like grape shot cannons. Going to move back over. Start the fight. Click move. Go as high as we can with this. Run normal fire. We'll see what happens. This is, uh, oh, we got fog. So there's the fog bank. He is going past me. You can see he's trying to get out of the arc of fire of this thing at the bottom. But it's not going to happen. I'm going to go on to rapid fire. just want to spin this round. One of the big downsides with this vessel is the lack of command. So it doesn't fire very fast. Oh, we hit that suspendium chamber there. I'm sure of it. So the commands, you can see, take a little while to give. And he just crashed right into the bottom of our ship. Which is spin round and pepper him. There we go. And immediately, as <laughs> soon as we hit it, it's taken out their engine. And it's taken out their suspendium chamber, or at least one of them. So this thing, all it can do is drift. <laughs> we'll go to aim fire here. So that was good. It's going to move up and down. But it can't... It can't turn around. And it's just about to lose the last suspendium chamber, so... Yeah. That's not ideal for it, is it? So, there we go. Not too bad. Hang on. Has that got a grenade on it? That has. I don't know if you know. There was a couple of grenades coming out. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Right, there's a victory, and that is obviously against them that were attacking us. This is now rearmed, but what's the best course of action? I think keep attacking. This guy's only got one fleet, and he's coming to stop me as well. So I'm going to change. And this is the mad scientist versus me. So we have that thing. I'm going to withdraw. I, I'm. I, I, he can loot it all he wants. Uh, there's nothing there to really loot. I have to move off, but I can quickly move back. So there we go. There's the mad scientists. Um, and where is he attacking now? Down there, is he? He's probably going to get that as well. Yeah. Because he's so close. I'll start the fight, but what's the point? I'll just, actually, you know what? I'll just flee. There's no point in hanging around. Let's get this thing taken back. Once again, it's cannons. Versus ballista. This is a winter night map. You reduce the accuracy of all weapons and fires occasionally go out on their own. And just flip round again. I think I have a better volley. <laughs> Let's run rapid fire this thing, to be honest, it's so close. Although, probably a mistake actually, because now means I can't manoeuvre as fast. I'm hoping that we'll get that suspendium chamber. Oh, we've got a fire. And it's at the fore of the vessel. And it's spreading. There's a cannon gone. There's suspendium chambers visible. There's the ram that is now taken out his suspendium chamber. The other one's going to go as well. That's it. There he goes. Right. Um, I'll just go behind him because he does still have a cannon left. And there's always that chance that they hit that vital part. There's no reason for us to put ourselves in harm's way now. So aim and fire. Look at the damage across this thing. There we go. And we'll just back up a little bit. Get our shots. 
I wanted to, I could creep forward and just make sure that the only thing I could hit was that. But uh, we don't need to. And we'll put it to max speed and just let this uh, play out. Yeah, there we go. Job done. So gentle takeover. Wait until those two are together, which is now. And I'm going to attack. And I think also we're going to have to build some ships. I'm going to build a goldfinch. Two of, in fact. Down here, uh, defences, we'll repair that. Over here, repair. Over here, can't afford to repair. Really would like to take... I really would like to take uh, this... I don't know if it's possible. Just need to keep an eye out to the north as well. I'm going to move this guy back. I know, he was actually alright where he was. I'm just keeping an eye on this border. That's the main thing. See if that guy attacks. At least we get alerts when things happen. So this is the first time, I think, that we've attacked this guy's territory. Once again, we've got shots fired from the right. Left to right are less accurate because we're into the sun. We've had a lot of that. But we're just going to head across. This is the damaged thing. If this takes, if this loses the suspendium uh, tanks, we're going to have to go back. Yeah, we're going back. We're definitely going back. We've lost half of our suspendium capabilities. So half of our height gentle takeover and I guess we'll head back to there I think it's the closest point that's been rebuilt that's getting sorted uh, not long now I think I want to see that Titan blade we don't want to see what it's like I also really want to attack the mad scientist here tempted to give it a go to be honest there is our suspendium uh, what do we need to research let's work it from a building ship point of view so we can now make a sparrow hawk yes herring gull we need steel armor okay heron aerial torpedo and wooden armor both these we can make. Blue birds is rain steel armor. I'm thinking armor. Because we'll have to go from heavy wooden armor to... Oh no, there you go. Medium steel armor. Yeah. Let's do that. Let me move this up the top. I'm trying to see if we can take out the mad scientist. Don't think those will do it. Um, from here, that's a tiny shipyard. That's a shame medium shipyard then build ship and we're building a sparrow hawk oh high alert eh um see if I can get back in time not happening not happening Gonna have to split, bring these fleets back. Oh, it looks like we've got the fight on the far left. Because we've got so many things going on, we have to be very careful we don't uh, overextend. But this fight here, we've got these really lovely looking buildings. I mean, they actually look really weak, but they're not. Because even if you take that section out, it just drops on there. It doesn't fall over. <laughs> it just drops down. It's got three rifles either side. Uh, apparently a lantern's just been hit. <laughs> I like the way the, the lanterns swing. It's nice. But they do have a fire. In a tower like that, fires will spread quickly. Yeah. There's the top gone, and then it's Rick and Terry. Gentle takeover. This guy is attacking 
there. So I'm going to come in the back to take that out. I'm also getting attacked up the top, which he will get there first. And he may even win. So let's see. He's got this vessel coming in. I'm going to go with... Run rapid fire, that's fine. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six rifles going at them. And he's got one rifle and three cannon. So he has the advantage with the cannons, but that saying that, never underestimate rifles, because look at the damage it's causing. The whole thing's peppered. What tends to happen is you get lots of damage across the vessel, and then it gets to a sort of critical point, and then it just starts falling into bits because there's nothing. The arm is gone. Got a fire here. Luckily, we can put out very quickly, but that is rifles that's been damaged. One of the rifles has been taken out, the other one is almost gone. We've only got two rifles in this central one. So that means we've only got four rifles shooting back at him now. Luckily, damage is where it needs to be at the front. If we can take their cannon out, we'll be alright. They haven't, uh, haven't had a fire, though. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I might as well just put it to max speed and let it crack on because there's no commands to issue, really. It's just let it do its thing. You notice it's backed up there because this one's been taken out. It's got no weapons anymore. I'm hoping we can win by... Oh, that's not good. I'm hoping we win by just having ammo. But I don't think that's going to work out. I think he's going to take this. The damage we've scored on this thing is considerable. Oh, it's victory. He surrendered. Right, I am still going to put our thing over there. Um. All right. Sparrowhawk's getting built there. Defenses for what they are. <laughs> uh, around there. Um, can't build a building. And he's going to attack this one. I'll let him, but because we're attacking there. Their main uh, city. If we get this over here, we've got a nice uh, point where we can, where we can um, repair and rearm, which will be handy. So you can see, I'm just going to go up and over, just so we've got less to deal with. This is shots fired from left to right, are less accurate. So we have the advantage in terms of positioning, lighting, and firepower here. Although we have lost... Oh, we've lost the Spendium Chambers on the top. So it's a good job that we are here to repair. Because it's not that we... We can afford to lose the Spendium. But... When the other one goes, it's just... you know, Look at that. It's already half health. These big Suspendium gas bags are very, very... I'm going to do a brutal take over there. It's crippling, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, so brutal take over, get it done quickly. This is the defence, and they have... Well, we have nothing, but they also brought in what appears to be a magnet. Uh, <laughs> what's that got? I'm going to assume it's got grenades. I mean, it won't matter because we've been defeated. So, there you are. I want to repair that thing. We're getting invaded from up here. Are you... Really? They're keen. <laughs> They're very keen indeed. Oh, yeah. I can't... I can't stop all of them. These mad scientists love... Attacking, uh... Everything around here, don't they? Okay. So. We've still got this fleet coming towards us. But the difference is that and I've got a Sparrowhawk so we can board also I think defense have we got there that's fine I am gonna I am gonna build another defense here I'm gonna move that further forward 
going to move that further forward. And I'm going to build building an orc there. Hopefully that should stop them from attacking. And I'm probably going to do the unthinkable here and attack the mad scientist. I don't think we should, but I want to try. So this is the mad scientist building. It's got a big lightning death throwing device thing on it. And oh, it's got all these guys as well. Which have got miniguns and tentacles. So you can't get too close. So what I'm going to do is get these guys right up close. And the other ones at range to try and deal with those things. So we'll start the fight. These guys immediately will get closer. There's the death ray. You see that there? Oh my good grief. Okay, fleet, 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 fleet. <laughs> <laughs> no way am I going to uh, attempt that. Uh, let's <laughs> let's repair this thing. And there's a Titan blade wheel here. That guy was still coming towards us, but he decided against it. Okay. This is repaired. I'm going to attack Bardem. Because there's no reason not to. Repair those two. Because there's nothing left of that empire. So it's just getting more territory. Oh! Look at this! We have some land ships. Pretty good. Let's see what damage this guy caused. Hmm. Lots. I don't know what we're going to do about that. That mad scientist. We need to long range them. I think. I'm hoping that we can outrange them with torpedoes or something like that. I'm really hoping we can do that. Uh, I'm going to get inside the fog bank here because, well, if they're in the fog bank, we might as well be in the fog bank. And just head towards it. Little vines on the suspendium islands. That's pretty good. i got to call them float stone. Good suspendium. And that's a win. So, Gentle Takeover is a slow and gentle transfer of power that leaves the city mostly intact. Brutal is brought under your control quicker. Might as well do that. Oh, more attacks to there, is it? So, what I'll do is quickly move that in. See how quick it is to move that. That's why we have those. <laughs> uh, right there. And I think, quite frankly, we should keep attacking. With what we got. I don't want to send everything away though. Because I'm very aware that. There's a lot that we. Uh, sort of spread our cells a bit too thin there. Let's bring that back. Um, Okay. Research is complete. We now have. The medium steel armour. Build ship then. So we can't build the Bluebird because we haven't got the Ray. Goldfinch, which is Grape Shot Cannon. I'm sure the art's changed on that. And then you have Greenfinch, we haven't got that one. Heron, we need Aerial Torpedoes and Reinforced Wooden Armour. Herring Gull, we can build, actually. Honeybee, we can't. The Owl, we can't. The Sparrowhawk, we can. The Wasp, we can't. And the Toucan, we don't want to. Uh, <laughs> it's true. So it's either going to be suspendium weapons or wooden armor. One year, four months, nine months. Wooden armor, then that. Oh, we then have to. Oh, okay. To get suspendium projection, we have to go through land ships and then machining. Uh, let's... Can we remove stuff from the queue? We can. We don't want land ships. Extra ammo storage, ammo, flammability. Gonna reduce flammability, maybe. Right, let's just go for the heavy wooden armour. First, I think. 
and here is what is probably going to be an easy fight. Yeah, yeah, it's fairly easy. <laughs> They've got literally a wreck on the bottom there. Brutal takeover, and then just keep moving. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move to there and move to there. Oh, no. Yeah, might as well. We'll have three, three ships together. And... That's partially recovered from the war. Only now it's partially recovered from the war. I'm trying to think what the best thing to build is. I think another Sparrowhawk, honestly. Just need a bit more cash. We get 180 a turn. What I'm going to do is something a bit naughty. Build ship, Sparrowhawk. Okay. I'm going to send our Sparrowhawk to the top left. Oh, interesting. He's not turning around. This guy I thought would come towards me. He has decided not to. Alright. So, this will hopefully be quite an easy task. I'm going to say board ship, that one there. And what happens is... All of the guys get out the bunks and go on the outside. There is a disadvantage to that, and that is that, um, well, the guys can be shot off the side. And they have got rifles. So I'm just going to quickly charge towards them. We get to this point. And there they go. Bod, 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 bod. And then... Profit. <laughs> yeah, we've got so many people. <laughs> oh, just taking that over straight away. Victory. A uh, gentle takeover. We, however, need to go and rearm. Gentle takeover. Now, I'm not too bothered what happens to that. For all I care, they could go and take it back. It's just a case of making progress somewhere. Uh, authorities <laughs> in Hound and Catch a Foreign Agent attempt to set fire. So they're actually trying to set fire to things. Yeah, this guy's attacking. I don't care. It's It wasn't my territory. I didn't even own it a couple of seconds ago. Um, I know it's on the left-hand side here. Their fleet isn't in existence anymore. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a bit of a catalyst for a fight, isn't it? Right, in that case, then. While they're going over here, he's probably going to take it over. Then he's going to take it back. But in the meantime, I'm <laughs> heading towards... <laughs> heading towards him there. Brilliant. That's... That's good. See, this is something that I was really hoping the series would focus on. Um, in the past, obviously, we've spent a lot of time building. Which is great, designing and building. But I really wanted a series where we just spend a lot of our time on the, on the main map and getting those like tactics down and and trying different things out in anger. So, happy about that. Happy with it so far, anyway. So, we are taking over, hopefully, their big structure here. After that, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. This is boarding this. Actually, I might as well stay close and use my grape shot. That's being captured now, and uh, this is the problem. If I try and attack that, what's going to happen? Nothing, because they've, they've, they've given up. Okay, fine. Um. Oh! Right, now this changes things. This is the guy from Oop North. So, he's brought in a venerable armada here, by the look of it. For a start, those are some cool-looking ships, whoever's made those. Plus 10 generic approval points. Maybe even plus 12. What they're armed with. I can't see what they're armed with. Well, I think I'll find out. Because <laughs> uh, I've got that. Oh, now all the lights come on. Oh, harpoons! They've got harpoons. This one's got harpoons. This is a bit more low tech. It's got harpoons on the front there and rifles. So we've got harpoons and rifles on those. And these guys... Oh, they're really quick, aren't they? What are they armed with, then? Oh. They're not armed. However, the people that they have on board are very much armed. They're all about boarding. Okay, that's worrying. That's a good design. It's fast. It's got a high service sailing by the look of it. And it gets boarders where they need to go. 
And we are being assaulted. Um, okay, fair enough. Ah, oh, and that guy's given up. Look at that. He's he's not bothered. <laughs> he's just went, no, oh, not happening. Um, I'm going to invade his home city. Uncontested victory there. Wow. Uh, interesting. And there's a mad scientist coming towards me as well. Hmm. Hmm. Flee. So that there. That was the attack at Skulton. And they had too much for me to deal with. Okay. That fleet worries me. It really does. Don't know what's happening with the land there. Oh, of course, flee. Uh, keep forgetting that we just can't. You can't. You just can't keep attacking like that. You have to go and rearm. Actually, we might be able to rearm. Say there. And here's the mad scientist. So the mad scientist's got these three guys here. Might as well. Tr we might as well try to defend against it. So they're coming at us with these miniguns. <laughs> what are those strange robots? It's not the miniguns that I'm necessarily worried about. It's the uh, tentacles. I'm gonna... I should go behind. I'm not destroying them. Oh, this one's actually fairly damaged. Oh, one's gone. Brilliant. We've destroyed one. They are, however, doing a number on this thing. Goldfinch. Goldfinch is getting plastered. I'm going to try and move it past. We're out of water and we're out of... Oh, we're out of everything. Goldfinch is definitely gone. Oh, okay, they've gone. <laughs> they've done this weird thing that they do where the legs start going a bit, a bit dodgy. <laughs> what's happened there? I have no idea what's happened there. But I'm going to use this as a way to ram it. Lightly looted, 20% income. No. Let's see, I have a, a timer to defeat this guy. But I've, it's not been without incident. See, I think it's probably best just to run. Because, yeah, we've repelled them, but at what cost? Look at all them. Have to repair all that. Right. So we need to take out those mad scientists, and that fleet is the worrying one. Sparrowhawk rearmed. Is be rammed. That's good. Okay. And there's their pirates. It honestly is just a case of keep attacking on the left-hand side, then. I'm gonna go aim fire on this guy. There we go. And by the time we get into range, he's already de de defeated. Uh, gentle. Take over. I'm gonna keep going there. Although, you know what? I think we'll bring these back. And then we'll go for their main city first. Speaking of city... I want to send a spy to that city at the top, because if that's the sort of fleet that that guy's got, I want to know what they're armed, what 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 the <laughs> what they've got over there, because it's not going to be something weak, that's for sure. We've also got pirates there. I'll have to give those a. I'll have to kick the hive on that one to see what uh, see what happens. I mean, yeah. Oh, shell walker, dragons, and gargoyles. And this guy's making progress too. This white and green guy at the top, they're certainly going to be the the ones to sort of watch out. Let's move these forward. I have to bring that right down. So our grape shots. Let's bring them down so the rear weapons can't fire. 
good grief. <laughs> okay, I think the goldfinches are very much a vessel all about getting that initial firepower and then massively exploding at the drop of a hat. They, they are really all about the exploding. They live that explosive life. Gentle takeover, not a brutal takeover. And we've lost the goldfinch, but I don't really care, to be honest, because we can't really do much. Okay, so we've made more progress here. Um, take that over and take that over. And that'll be all that guy's territory on that side. Curious. Let's view that city. Oh, they haven't got much. Recall spy. Send spy, though. I want to see what that fleet's got. If it's the same fleet... It's worrying. Also, since by that, to see what they've got as well. Start this fight, move it down. See, it's not their defences that I'm worried about. It's whatever fleet they're fling, at, fling towards us. And now that a lot of the smaller empires are gone, we... Uh, we're only going to be facing, like, the really powerful stuff. Let's go all these defences and just put them back in. They're all fine. That's certainly far from fine. I went for those. Yeah, this guy's even conquered there. Brutal takeover. Oh, brigands have become fully-fledged pirates. Okay. Curious. So. Let's repair those. We've managed to take out pretty much everything to the southwest. And come to sort of level pegging right in the middle here. I'm tempted to take out this red guy on the left. Who's got... Actually this... Oh, is it the same? Not the same symbol. It's this guy. Take, to take that guy out, and then this bit of territory, and then sweep in for this one, and then obviously there's this big fight. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to leave it there for this episode of Airships. I must confess, we've got a lot of progress, but there's not there's not been anything that's really flung up any surprises. The Mad Scientists are a problem, because they keep on raiding. Oh, we need to run away, but that's defeating the object. I would very much like to defeat the Mad Scientists. In order to do that, though, we need long-range firepower, I think. Well, we actually just need loads of ships. So I don't know what the best course of action would be. What have we got? Have we got any land ships that would be alright? The elk? The elk might work. Hmm. But we need large tracks, front turret, heavy turret, flat cannon, heavy steel armour. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of tech that we need. Whereas I think... If we went with probably Herringal might work. The Heron. Wooden armor. And then aerial torpedoes. I think that's a way forward. So we're currently researching heavy wooden armor. And torpedoes are. Torpedo bombers. So you'd think torpedoes would be... Oh, there they are. Oh, right. So you need... Combustibles, which is flamethrowers, and you need gyros. I'm going to select it. There we go. Finish reinforced hulls, then we'll go for aerial torpedoes. Cool. Okay, we're going to leave it there for this episode of Airships. That's been another bit of conquest mode, and we've made some good progress. But we have this guy who has got one, two, three, four, five big cities, and we've only got one, two, three, four. We've got five as well, so we're on even footing. He probably controls about the same amount of territory and has just as many problems as we have. The big difference is that fleet that I saw there. That I thought I'd send a spy. I must have moved to recall that spy. Um, that fleet was worrying. What, what fleet has that guy got? Nothing. Nothing to worry about. 
Let's just see. Look, this guy has. Darn it! Just as I, just as I, <laughs> uh, set, get the spy there, he goes to attack, and he's attacking red. So he will have more cities on us. That is a bit worrying. Okay, well, we're gonna leave it there for now. That's been a bit of airships. Next episode, we're gonna have to do something about that fleet. I don't know what we can do. We can't really outboard them. It's going to be fun in finding out, isn't it? <laughs> it's the fun will be in finding out. Uh, territory has been taken on the right-hand side by this guy. He's pretty much going to sweep through the rest of this one. And I think by the end of next episode, there will only be three empires left. There, that might be an alliance of empires. But I'm guessing it's going to be green guy. Myself, hopefully. And probably an amalgamation of all of these islands and this north territory here it would be nice to see this northern territory take out all of this because there's nothing at north, north here that uh, the green guy's got that's potentially what we can do actually send sparrowhawks up the top because we are very quick hmm i'll have to have a think about that one either way i hope you have enjoyed this little bit of airships <laughs> comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings